Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more Spore. Meet me back in the galaxy where last time we bought pretty much everything in the menu that we could, which is pretty damn fantastically cool. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is going on with me? Right, so today what we're going to be doing is exploring a little bit more into the centre of the galaxy, because I said I was going to do that last time, but we never got around to it. And I feel like it's only fair that I do it this time. What else we got in here, actually? Spice storage. Oh, so we can increase the spice storage on a planet. We probably don't need that so much, because in this mod pack, I think that's expanded massively anyway, to like 200 storage per planet. What's got the happiness booster? And other stuff that we could buy? Some of these are quite expensive, and I think I'd probably get them a bit cheaper from some other nation. And we could go for Expand Void Corporation. Or Expand Pyrotech. Hmm. Or, alternatively, we could go for Taxonomy, which I think I'm just going to do because it's part of the, ch the quest chain, and why not? Now, I'm not really sure what the end game of all these things are, but we're going to find out eventually, I guess. So, Jackal Trades 3, White Matter, Energon Repair, Pyrobomb, Buyout Cryogen, and Black Cloud. Oh, was Black... I, I swear to God, was Black Cloud one of those really good weapons? It, like... I can't remember what it does, really. Wow, look at all this. All the badges. Expand Pyrotech and then a load of Expand Multigalactic News Corp. Lovely. Let's just see, are we actually that close? We are. Interesting. Well, we still don't have the warp drive, so if we're going towards the centre of the galaxy, we're going to have to do it by hand, which I suppose is okay. And we'll speak to all these aliens that we meet on the way, because obviously if they're angry with us, we can make them neutral. And why not? We might eventually come over this way again in the future, and it seems like a good idea to keep people happy where we can. Okay, so where are we going? It looks like we're going to have to take a bit of a funky path. Luckily enough, though, we've got loads of energy, and we can always buy some energy recharges on the way. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, wow, a binary star system. For Beck Cos B. For Beck Cos B and A. Interesting. Now, I thought there was a alien race on this planet? Apparently not. Maybe I was just seeing like the weird galactic formation giving me a signal? I have no idea. Actually, what is this? I want to look at all of these. I love space in this game. It's so cool. I mean, look at this. we got Greedius B and A. What's happening at the moment is uh, I'm having this sort of feeling with um, space games that this is what I want to be doing with my time. I don't have that much time to play games in general, but at the moment I've been playing a lot of Stellaris, a lot of Spore, actually, as well, outside of the series, and other stuff. I think I'm just really in love with space, is what I'm trying to say here. So let's just carry on and stop my rambling about stars and stuff. The problem is, I don't want to come across like a completely idiotic idiot, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about, about space. I know a little bit. I did a physics A-level. It's one of my favourite sciences out of all of them. I just then happened to go... It was a choice, actually, going to university for me, of choosing between physics and computer science, and I chose computer science. So there we are. Interesting. Maybe if I'd taken a different route in my life, I would have become a physicist and worked at CERN, or somewhere probably a lot less interesting than CERN, which is more likely. Okay, what is going on? Where are we? We're getting there. We're about halfway. We're going to have to recharge, though. Did I bring any recharge kits with me? And where would they be? They're in here normally, aren't they? Scan? No? Okay, fine. We're going to have to find some sort of alien race that will help us out. That's okay. There seems to be one right here. They're a bit angry with us, which means that we're probably not going to be able to trade with them. I think you can only trade with the ones that are already neutral towards you. Yeah. God damn it. We need a happy race. People who don't follow the word of Spode. God damn Spode. It sounds like, whenever I say the word spode, it makes me think of a potato for some reason. I don't really know why. It does kind of sound like a, a breed of potato, doesn't it? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, hello. Can we trade with you? Of course we can't. But there is something on this planet I'm going to grab. Seeing as we're all the way out here, we might as well. Okay, so what is this going to be? Probably a load of rubbish. But we're going to spend the time to find it. We're in the far reaches of the galaxy, and it's right here, so it's not too bad. Looks like a mineral of some kind. Oh, god damn it, these spaceships honestly troll me so much. What was it? It was a pink geode. Ah, okay, well, I suppose we can sell that for some amount of money. I'm actually going to get rid of this mission, because we really don't want to do this at all, do we? we do wow, 600,000! Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Destroy all turrets on this one. 
mean, we could get rid of that one as well, but I feel like that's probably less destructive than actively seeking to destroy an entire race of peoples. Space genocide. Okay, let's have a little look here. I don't think these people are going to trade with us either. Man, everyone's very unhappy towards the centre of the galaxy. I think the only, what it means is when you run out of energy, you just go a lot slower in between the stars. Ah, these people will probably trade with us. Uh, and also, I think the jump distance is reduced as well. We'll sell this to these guys. What is this? Super fluids. Global turret lock. Okay, that sort of sounds like maybe something you pop when you go into the planet's atmosphere and all of the turrets on that planet would just stop working for a period of time. Universal pheromones leads to brainwashing. Unlocks crow magnet. I thought I said cow magnet. Oh, God. I got so excited for a minute. What is that? Super happy... Ha super fun happy gas? Oh, man. So much happiness. Okay, well, can I recharge with you, please? Oh, my God. Okay, that costs a lot of money. I suppose it's worthwhile to get the Staff of Life, though, because it's going to save us a lot of uh, buying of meteor showers and things like that. And we're getting quite close to the centre of the galaxy now, so I don't feel too bad about spending a bit of money to get the rest of the way. Okay, so what route do you want to take? I suppose the routing is not going to be too bad, seeing as... We, do we have a big enough jump engine, a jump drive, to do this? I feel like we do. We're going to meet the Groks very soon. So we just want to go like this way. Okay, I'm going to have to take a little route around here. It's like journey to the centre of the Earth, but journey to the centre of the galaxy. A bit more of an achievement, isn't it, going to the centre of the galaxy than the centre of the Earth? Or is it, really? Not really sure. You're within our security zone! We have destroyed entire civilizations for less. Hello. Can I talk to you, Grox people, please? I think in this mod pack, it's disabled that if you become friends with them, uh, everyone hates you. I don't think everyone hates you if you become friends with them. But we're not going to speak to them quite yet. They're just unhappy, but it means they're not going to instantly attack us because we're in the centre of the galaxy. Now, where is this bad boy? It's over this direction. Okay, so if we got enough energy, we've got half a pack left. I think that's probably enough. And we it looks like we can jump all the way over here. Wow, this is a lot easier than other games. I feel like this mod pack does make it a lot easier. Oh god, they are attacking us now. Okay, well, let's go into the centre of the galaxy. 42! The meaning of life. Are you ready for this? Of course you are. Let's do it. I think this is like the fourth time I've done this now. <laughs> but I shall be quiet in case this is your first time. Central Galaxy Virgin. My friend, you have travelled very far and overcome many obstacles. Along the way you have encountered many of your diverse, far-flung siblings. Precious few of them will make it this far. Your heroic efforts have proven you deserving. Worthy of advancement to the next level of your existence. The universe you inhabit is but one of many, countless worlds, unseen but yet connected. Your creative efforts have not gone unnoticed. Indeed, they have spilled into these other unseen worlds, just as your world has been enriched by them. It is now time for you to join us. Join us! <laughs> no, just kidding. It's not scary. Indeed, the times are They are good. Really, really good. Some of you may ask, who is this mysterious voice who knows so much and possesses such great powers? I'm glad you asked. Why are there llamas everywhere? That's my question. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Oh, well, here we are. Hi, Steve. God oh, damn it, Steve. It's a good angle. 
Right, okay. So we got to go to Earth, of course, at some point. You've been awarded the Staff of Life! Yeah! Love the Staff of Life. Steve, what are you doing? Get out of my face, man. So there we are. I mean, they make such a big deal out of getting the Staff of Life, but honestly, it's not that much of an OP weapon. Or tool, I should say. Pretty much just lets you terraform planets to terrascore 3, I believe. Because it's in, like, the opposite order, isn't it? 1 is the worst, or 0 is the worst. Okay, well, there you go. LCD. LCD? LSD? <laughs> I swear to God, like, I'm half asleep today again. Oh, well. Right, the Stargate episode. We're back in the universe, and we're probably going to be killed and attacked now. In fact, I kind of do want to be killed, because then it means that I can instantly go back home. Which would be quite useful. And why is this spinning around? Is it because... What does this even point to? Does it point to my home star? I am confused. Okay, well let's kill ourselves, maybe. And then we'll go back home. It's going to take quite a while to kill ourselves, actually. Can we just, like, is there a command? Command equals kill? Well, I suppose we can just go onto a Grox planet and have a look about. Oh, what's this? Something is showing up on the ship's radar! Oh, is it the massive Grox City? Of course it is. Wow, their buildings are really cool, actually. They look evil, don't they? Is this the home system? By some magical chance? I don't think so. Yes, it's their ship. We've seen them before. Could this be a Grox colony? Their cold-blooded reputation is renowned in the galaxy. Beware. Okay, well, I've kind of come here on purpose to be killed. Wow. With the destruction of your Alizarnite, your allies have returned to their home systems as you'll retrieve a new ship. To build your fleet, visit your allies and enlist their services again. Oh well, I don't really care. I kind of knew that we'd lose our allies. They're bloody useless anyway. Look at this, like, circle jerk that's going on around here. We have got the Mega Auto Blaster, though. So I suppose that's something. Okay, well, come on now. We shall zoom home. Fastest way to get across the galaxy. Space Rangers have taken so much damage it has gone down the toilet and everyone's ripped their dicks off and launched them into orbit like normal. Oh god, that popping then. Oh, hello. <laughs> so much like random shit that goes with this mod pack. I love it. Ah, oh, you built you a new ship. Try not to break it this time. Okay, I'll try not to. But where are we now? We've got the Staff of Life, which is good. Where is it? It's in here, isn't it? So we don't need any of these things anymore, pretty much. I mean, we're only going to terraform the planets that we need to colonise. So we, we've pretty much got... Is it 42 charges of this? I think that's the thing, isn't it? Okay, so what are we doing next is your question. Well, now that we've got the Staff of Life, I need to expand our empire and wipe these dudes out because we've got a recharge of our epic weapon, our gravitation wave. Now, is this their only planet? I think finally it will be which means that the Corbert Empire will be destroyed forever. Thank God. Because I tell you what, they've taken bloody ages to kill. And look how many <laughs> aircraft are on this mini-map. It's just, like, impossible to kill these people. I'm hoping not all planets are like this, but it's likely that they are. Okay, is that now dead? Corbert Empire has been destroyed. Fantastic news. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. It's been episodes in the making, their destruction, hasn't it? Okay, can we leave this place now? I do believe we can. Good stuff. And it looks like there's something on this moon over here. Did we notice this before? Is this the one that's like stuck in the hillside? I swear to God, I like go back to the same planets over and over again and get confused by the same things continuously. Okay, so is it on the other side of the planet? It might well be. Hopefully it's a planet sculpting tool of some kind. It is! Ah, oh, yes! My favourite. What is it? Chocolate Swirl Pond? Yeah! I love Chocolate Swirl Ponds! Sounds like somewhere I'd like to wallow for the rest of my days. Chocolate Swirl Pond. Delicious. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool one, actually. It makes quite a big difference to the planet's surface. Oh, let's leave this place, then. Wow, that is really nice. Most of these tools that you get are completely, like, pointless. They don't make any real difference to the terrain at all. But it's nice when you eventually get the ones that do. So how are the old Jake the Dog Empire doing? We were going to buy one of their planets, weren't we? Oh no, it's this one we were going to buy. And I do believe we've got enough money to do so, so we might as well. Purchase system. Uh, 200. 
This offer does not fall within logical perimeters. What? Oh, is this their home system? TerraScore 3? Oh, it is. No wonder they didn't want to sell it to me for 200 then. I guess that makes sense, though. I mean, the colonies are going to be a lot cheaper than the home star. So who else are we trading with? We need to, like, trade with all the Jake the Dog Empire. I kind of want to just, like, buy all of their planets. Because they're quite big. And I don't want them to get too large. But at the same time, I, I would like to not wipe them out myself. Uh, what am I doing here? Diplomacy. Can we establish a trade route? Thank you very much. Goodbye. And I think this is actually working us towards the trading badge, wherever it is. Where are you? Is it this one? No, merchant. Trade for that amount of spore bucks. Okay, so we're almost there, actually. Cosmic vibration vacuum. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> and what else do we have? I think it's all cleaner. Mind erase. Brain surgeon. What is this? Promote one creature to tribal. Oh, is that from using the monolith? That might well be the case. Okay, then. Frequent flyer, explorer, and empire. Expand to 13 solar systems to get the heat ray, refrigeration ray. Oh, that also is pretty much like the Staff of Life, isn't it, if, I, if I'm not mistaken? Asteroid call button. It just drains your energy instead of uh, having to buy them each time. Okay, well, I guess we can carry on then. Title of the Legendary. Ooh! Oh, it tells you which badges you have. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice one. Okay, I didn't even know that was in the game. Still learning things every day. So I'm going to trade with pretty much all of these planets, because it takes ages for them to get to the point where you can actually buy them. So let's establish another one there, and then we'll establish some more with their other colonies. That one's almost done, actually, so it's probably a good idea to be doing this. Okay, so let's grab this one as well. And I think, I don't know whether the trade increases the amount of uh, spore, uh, sp spore, spice that's being produced on your planets. It might well do. And if that's the case, then it's definitely a good idea. I think another change that this mod pack has made is that uh, the caps on the number of trade routes that you can establish has been completely removed. So, unlike the other game, you can very easily set up all of these. The other game. The vanilla game. I love the vanilla game. It sounds delicious. Man, this is an episode of, like, delicious food. Chocolate swirl ponds and vanilla. What more could you want from life? If they established a colony on this star here, that's ridiculous. God damn it. Ah, my friend. Would you like an alliance? Sure. Would you like a trade route? Sure. Oh yeah, that's something else you can do, isn't it? You can start asking them to attack other nations. So I suppose that's one way around uh, the whole wiping out nations thing. Super Happy Ray. Ah, oh, my favourite. And a pyro thrower. What the hell is that? And expanding everything. MGNC, create terrorist attack. Ooh. Okay, well if that's something that we can do to another city, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Well, we've got another upgrade. Congratulations, you've turned, earned the title of the legendary. We are the legendary spacefarers. And another badge. A mega energy pack. And um, we've got another... Oh, what's this? MGNC, loot national armory. Sure, maybe these are things that we can buy. Expand Pyrotech, buy out Nusa Corp and Pyro Missiles. Okay. Buy in, let's see if we can buy some of these things. Pulse. Quantum computing is pretty cheap here. Shall I just buy this? Just to get it off the menu to unlock the next thing? Maybe. Embassy. Place an embassy on an alien race's planet. Increase your relationship with their empire over time. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if that's in the base game either, is it? Nuclear chain gun. Oh my god, beautiful, beautiful weapons. Right, okay, well I think it's about time that we expanded to another star system. So let's have a look for a possible good one. I suppose at this point in time it doesn't really matter which ones we go for. I'd like to get ones which have at least one good spice on it. Like, this is would be a good one, wouldn't it? It's got black spice. And in fact, do we even have turquoise spice? I'm not sure, but now that we can easily terraform anything, I don't even think it really matters what whether the planet is in the Goldilocks zone or not. Let's just do it, shall we? Okay, so planet atmosphere tool. Staff of life. Oh, do we have endless amounts of these? It just uses energy now. That'd be pretty damn OP if that was the case. 240. 75. Well, there you go. Much better. Now, where would be a good place to put this down? Probably over in this direction somewhere because there's a lot of spice geezers right next to each other. And we'll put it down like this. Yeah, that's a good place. 
Okay, so we're only going to be able to afford to put down one of these colonies for now, but we can always come back here. There's no real rush, is there? And I'd definitely like to put an uber turret down on all these planets if we can. So Xenes is now fully filled up with stuff. Look at this lush green planet we've created. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's now allocate a load of these buildings so that we can start placing them down. I'm just going to go for a bit of production and just base happiness. We don't have that much money to be putting down these things, though. So we'll start with happiness. We'll put this here, and that's it. Okay, well, it's just going to be a little happy place. A little happy colony. Else on the edges of our empire. That's all you need. That's all you need.